y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a clean, declutter, and organize with me. And I am starting off like I do all of my videos by making a list of all the things that I need to get done. So before we get started, I want you guys to think about all the things on your to-do list, make a list of those things, and then mark them off throughout the day as you get them done or as you're watching this video. And if you are new here, then welcome. My name is Amy Darley, and I do lots of cleaning motivation, organizing, decluttering, all kinds of things on my channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber if you're new, and make sure to leave a comment down below introducing yourself so I can get to know you guys. So to kick off today's cleaning video, I'm just gonna get started with some tidying up around the house before we get into our bigger project later in the video. Now that the bedroom is all tidied up, I'm gonna finally tackle these dishes. I have dishes to unload in the dishwasher, so I'll put those up and then I'm going to reload the dishwasher and then wash any dishes by hand. And then also, as you can imagine, with all those dishes sitting in the sink, my sink was pretty dirty. So I wanted to make sure I got that good and cleaned out as well. Talking to each other, I know we feel the same about the situation, like we're stuck inside a game. Time to get out of this circle, yeah, we both carry a scar. As you write the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance, not like anything we've done before, oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Don't be afraid The first step is always hard When you walk out of the doorway But that's just the place to start The only thing I ever wanted Starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before Oh, oh, yeah Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more now another area that I'm constantly tidying up is the living room. I do this pretty much daily and sometimes twice a day because these pillows get all knocked around and you know thrown on the floor or wherever. But I'm in a battle with myself because I love, love, love feathered pillows like pet the inserts because of the way that they look on the couch. But I hate the fact that they're always shedding and I have to pick up feathers all over the place or constantly pluck them out of the pillows and throw them in the trash. So. Y'all let me know, do you have the same issues with your pillows or do you even use feather inserts? So Kaysen brought this book home from the book fair the other day and they have been begging to get a puppy. And these little puppies in here are so stinking cute. And we used to have a little shih tzu, shih tzu however you say it, shih tzu. And um, so that's one that we've been talking about, but we're trying to decide if we even want a puppy right now. <sighs> I don't know. But anyways, this was such a cute little book and my kids have been obsessed with puppies lately. <laughs> Now I am so stinking excited because I just got this box in from Brooklinen and I got a ton of new bath towels, hand towels, washcloths, and I even got a new set of sheets for our bed. Now that I am finally organizing this guest closet, I decided to go ahead and get new bath towels and hand towels for our entire house because we haven't had new bath towels in like 10 years. And I don't know how long you're supposed to go before you buy new towels, but it was definitely time for us to get some new ones. 
And a friend of mine is a professional organizer and she actually gave me the tip to get all white towels. So that way all of your towels are the same color. You can wash them all together and you can actually use laundry detergent and bleach and not have to worry about it messing up the color of your towels. But I was so excited to get all this stuff in from Brooklinen because I have heard nothing but wonderful things about this company. They had over 35,000 plus five star reviews on their website. And then they also were named the winner of the best online bedding category by Good Housekeeping. Now, if you go to the Brooklinen website, you'll see they have luxury sheets, towels, bedding, and more without the luxury markup price. Now, as you can see here, they have lots of different bath towel options. So they have like plush, the classic bath towels, they have ultra light, they even have a waffle knit one. And then they also have lots of different color options and you can even buy them in a bundle where you get the bath towel, the hand towel, and the bath mats, or you can buy them all separately, which is what I did because I did not need the bath mats. And I ended up getting the oversized bath towels for us and for the guest bedroom, and then I got the regular sized bath towels for the kids, and then I also got hand towels and washcloths. Brooklinen also offers a variety of different types of sheets, and then you can purchase them just like with the towels, you can purchase them in bundles or you can purchase them separately. And I ended up going with the classic core set. I just got white, but they also have over 20 plus colors and patterns that you can mix and match. Brooklinen also sells robes, shower curtains, bath rugs, candles, lots of options on their website. And I actually wish I would have gotten some robes for the guest bedroom. I didn't think about that before I started on this project, but you guys gave me that idea. So I might have to go back and order some robes. So here's a little close up of the new bath towels that we got. We got the classic bath towels. And like I said, we got the oversized, the regular sized, the hand towels and the washcloths. And we have been loving them. They are so nice and thick and it feels so good to have fresh new towels in our house. Now here, I'm just gonna unpack them and go ahead and throw them in the washer so that we can start using them. And also so I can put a few of these towels in our guest bedroom. And if you guys are in the market for some new towels or sheets or anything from the Brooklyn and website, make sure to use my coupon code AmyDarley at checkout and you can get $20 off your order over $100. So check out the link in my description box and also the coupon code AmyDarley will be down there for you as well just in case you forget. And thank you to Brooklyn and for sponsoring today's video. All right, so we are gonna head into my office. This is what it looks like right now. It is actually picked up and cleaned because I cleaned in here the other day. I finally got a ton of stuff up off the floor over here because it literally was like our catch-all room. Um, I still have this little sign sitting right here. It was up above these little picture frames, but I think I need to get a stronger command strip for that little frame so that way it'll actually stay on the wall because it fell down. But the reason I came in here is because I want to show you this little closet right here. I'm actually going to be cleaning and organizing out this closet. I'm not gonna get it all done today, but I wanna start on it. And so, beware, it is a hot mess in here. We have tons of things in here that need to come out. And I want it to be more like a guest closet. So it's organized for guests when they come and they stay here. And I'm actually going to, today, I'm gonna to pull all this stuff out, but I want to paint this white. And while the sun is out right now, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get started um, and pull that out, paint it white, just so that way when you open it up, it just looks a lot nicer and more organized in here. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. All right, so one more little overview shot of what it looks like before I get started. And this is what we're calling my Monica's Closet. For those of you that watch Friends, you get the reference. But I'm gonna start by just taking everything out of here and going ahead and painting this bookshelf so that way it has time to dry before we start putting everything back in. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me 
like it is and open my heart like you're fearless steal all the gold you can get you can get show me so for the bookshelf, I'm wiping it down really quick before I get started painting. And originally I started painting with this white chalk spray paint and realized that I was gonna have to use way too much and it was gonna take a long time. So I changed it up and started using some regular white chalk paint and painted that on for the first coat. And then because this is going into a closet and I wasn't too worried about it being super perfect, I ended up going back over it with the white chalk spray paint again to finish it up. Now if this was a piece of furniture that was going to be seen all the time, like in my living room or out and open in my house somewhere, then I probably would have just done two or three coats of the regular chalk paint instead of using the spray paint. So just so you know, if you're doing it in a closet, it doesn't have to be perfect and it turned out pretty good, I think. Like it is, like it is, and open my heart like you feel. So the next step with this closet was to go through all of the mess and the junk that was in here. I found so many things that I had forgotten we put in here, but this has kind of been my like throw all room and throw all closet when I just want to put things up and I say I'm going to put them where they belong later. But I went through everything. I decluttered a lot of stuff. Almost everything in here we ended up getting rid of and then there were a few like Cricut items and things like that that I ended up putting with all of the craft supplies. But the next thing that I did after I went through all of that stuff was just to vacuum out the bottom and then also I wiped down with, I just used the hardwood floor cleaner from Method just to wipe down this area right here. Now, when I was at Michael's, I saw this rolling cart and I thought it would be perfect to put my Cricut and all of my craft supplies and things that go with the Cricut on this rolling cart. And then I thought I could just put it right here in this closet. So I'm gonna put this together really quick. And honestly, I'm not usually the one that puts things together. Usually I have chance to do that, but I followed the directions. It was super, super simple and easy to do and honestly if you're looking for like a craft cart or something similar to this I highly recommend this one and I'll have it linked below as well as all the stuff that I ended up putting in this closet in case you guys are interested in any of that stuff to be someone else I would and like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious but I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace Now 
Now that the bookshelf is done drying, we're gonna put this back in here and then we can actually start organizing the closet. All right, so it is the next day because you guys know me. I can never do anything in one or two days. It always takes me forever to get projects done, but I'm going to finish today, I promise. <laughs> so I have my um, bookshelf here in the closet. It is done and ready to go, and I wanna show you guys something really quick. So you saw me put together this little stand, and I had planned on putting this cart with all of my like Cricut stuff, all my craft stuff that I could use for that. I plan on putting it all on this cart and then sticking it right here in this closet. But one, it does not fit. Also, a lot of you gave me the idea over on Instagram, you were saying that I should have a little bit of blank space right here in the closet for a suitcase or something. So I'm gonna leave this space empty and I'm actually gonna put this stand I'm gonna clean out my other closet, my other hall closet that you guys have seen me do a couple of times. And that'll be in another video. But I'm gonna put all of my craft stuff on here. I'll show you guys that in a different video when I organize it all and put it in that other closet. So stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna move this stuff out of here for right now. And then these are some of the baskets that I'm gonna use in here. I actually got these. I think these are only like seven bucks at Michael's right now. So I'll link these below. These are pretty decent sized baskets. I got two of those. And then these two came in a set on Amazon. These were a lot pricier, especially when you look at the size of this one, these compared to this, like they're not as big. Um, they're definitely a lot skinnier than they are, than these are. And this was, I wanna say it was like 40 something dollars for these two. So I don't know why I paid so much when I should have just gone to Michael's first but I honestly got those a long time ago, spent too much money on them, and then went and found these. They also have a bunch of different options at Michael's, and um, they're all pretty cheap, so I would definitely suggest those. But I'm still gonna use these because I have them, and they are really cute, and they look really good. They're perfect for the bookshelf, so I'm gonna be using these. I'm about to start organizing this closet. So here I'm finally getting all of this stuff out of here and I kind of organized it. Some of it went in the trash. Some of it went with my Mercari stash that I told you guys I am going to be listing a bunch of stuff on there and I still have not done it. I need to get around to doing that, but I promise I'll let you guys know when I do, especially over on Instagram. I'll probably link it there. But now I have gone to Target and I picked up a bunch of things to put in this closet that I think would be good for a guest room closet. I also got a lot of ideas from you guys. So thank you to everyone who gave me ideas over on Instagram of what you think should be included, included in a guest room closet. So I'm just going to put this stuff in these baskets and then I'll show you in just a minute all the stuff that I included. If only And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like Now before I start adding anything into the closet I wanted to go grab some towels Now that they're all fresh and clean And so I'm going to be putting in two large towels And then two hand towels And two washcloths Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Say the obvious. 
Now it's time to start adding in our baskets. So I'm putting these two big baskets on the top. Now in the basket on the top left, I'm actually using that to hold an extra set of sheets and pillowcases. So I have that here in this basket. And then the basket on the top right, I'm just using for extra supplies that we want to keep in the office. So like our cameras, security cameras. I also have some extra markers and things like that that I don't want the kids to get into. So that's up there on the top. And then I put a few hangers in case our guests would like to hang up any clothes. I also got this new fan from Target and it's super powered. So I thought that was perfect for guests. And then I got these little jars from Target as well and filled them with Q-tips and cotton balls. Now on this next shelf, I'm gonna put this little basket and it has tons of toiletry items and things that I think my guests might need. So we have some toothbrushes, some floss picks, um, extra razors, face wipes, lotion, wet ones. I also put some toothpaste, a phone charger, and then some of the toiletry items that I put in were shaving cream and deodorants. And then I also got some chapstick, hair ties, and then I found this teeny tiny little first aid kit. So I've got some band-aids and things like that in there too. Now I did not put shampoo and body wash and things like that in here, but that is because I have those things in the guest bathroom. Now on the next shelf, I'm just putting our fresh new towels and I love the way this white looks in here. And then on the last shelf, I was a little bit extra and decided to do a snack basket. I put some waters and a bunch of little Halloween snacks that I picked up at Target. Of course, I could change these out based on when I have guests. And then I thought a trail mix is always a good snack. And then something sweet, I put my favorite chocolate in here, which is the Reese's Take 5, and then I also put some little paydays. Now this is just an example of some of the snacks that I could put in here, and then of course I would probably change it out based on the season when they're coming, or also who your guests are and what their preferences are. Now here is a quick look at the before of this messy closet, and then the after. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I cleaned, decluttered, and organized in this video, especially this closet. I'm so excited to have it done and super satisfied with the results, and I hope that my guests will love it as well. But if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. Also, if you are new, I would love to have you as a subscriber and also introduce yourself down in the comments if you're new, so that way I can get to know you guys better. And don't forget, if you are in the market for new towels or bedding, any of that kind of stuff, check out the Brooklyn and website. Use my code AmyDarley at checkout and you get $20 off your order of $100 or more. Now, make sure to come back next week. I'll have a new video and lots and lots of cleaning motivation and some more organizing for you in that video. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.